What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today is Friday which means Zer has returned to the tower. So let's take a look at Zer's inventory for this week on week number 34 I believe. Items below. So here we go, here's Zer, he's in the bottom uh, center area behind the room with the vanguard dudes. And uh, yeah, so he has... For the Titan, the Ruin Wing Gauntlets, um, heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop, and causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown, and also increased reload speed with special weapons. Really good PvE Gauntlets, in my opinion, one of the best Titan exotics in the game. If you don't have it, I recommend picking this one up. For the Hunter, we have the Don't Touch Me Gauntlets. Taking damage from melee makes you briefly invisible, increase reload speed with special weapons, and increase super energy gained from killing a minions of the darkness. Really good one as well for the hunter. I like using this, especially in the lamp section of Crotazan. It's really useful in that part of the raid as well. For the warlock, we have the heart of the Praxic Fire chest piece. Further decreases all ability cooldowns while Radiance is active and carry more ammo for fusion and heavy weapons. Pretty good chest piece, not pretty good. It is the best warlock exotic in the game in my opinion. Really good, it decreases your cooldowns by so much and allows you to throw that many more grenades, use that much more melee abilities, all that good stuff while Radiance is active. It's really good, I recommend this if you didn't pick it up the first time he sold it which was I don't know how many weeks ago it was, but the first time he sold it was a relief because a lot of people wanted to get this exotic, but he did not sell it until like how many weeks into the Dark Below DLC. So this is like one of the only other times that I've seen him sell it. So if you don't have it yet, go ahead and pick it up. And then for the weapon, we have the Hard Light. Rounds fired from this weapon over penetrate targets and ricochet on hard surfaces and the glass half full perk bottom half of each magazine causes additional damage hard light I'm not sure how good this weapon is I haven't used it that much but it doesn't seem to be that good of a weapon if you want to collect it for your your collection you can go ahead and do so but overall I think this weapon is just average and then we have the Upgrades, so we have Knucklehead Radar and Young Ahamkar Spine for the Hunter. Um, both of these are pretty average, so it's up to you on that one. We have Intermountable Skull Fort and Crest of Alpha Lupi. Both of these are, again, kind of average. This one at least has use in Crotozen on hard mode because of the replenishing health. And uh, Crest of Alpha Lupi can be helpful uh, for that... Revive, um, actually I do recommend this because of Trials of Osiris, my bad, I forgot about that. Um, I recommend buying this one because those quick revives will be very useful going into Trials of Osiris for House of Wolves. And then we have Heart of Praxic Fire again and Void Fang. Um, I like Void Fang a lot for Crucible. Um, I'm not sure how much it will be utilized for Trials of Osiris in particular. Um, just because Light Beyond Nemesis might be a popular choice for Warlocks, but in general, like in Iron Banner, I utilize Void Fang Vestments a lot on my Warlock. For the guns, we have Bad Juju, Red Death, Mana Multi-Tool, Invective, Plancy, and Pocket Infinity. Uh, Red Death and Mana Multi-Tool, in my opinion, are the best two out of the five guns. And then um, the rest are kind of situational. Bad Juju is okay. It's it's pretty good when you're trying to get your super because of that one perk. Um, Invictive and Pocket Infinity are bounties. So if you want to just do the bounty instead, you can do that. And Plan C is just a pretty decent fusion rifle for like Arc Nightfalls and stuff like that. That's about it for this week for Zer Week 34. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. What do you mean?